What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the top of the map, in the red color, playing is Zeus. He's from the TSM clan and his name is Player. On the other side of the map, in the blue color, playing as Ra, his name is Corono JJ. The map is Mediterranean and this is again from the group stages of the Christmas tourney, hosted by RTS Sanctuary. And uh, it's Ra vs Zeus, some of the best players in the game. Chrono JJ is an old expert. TSM players are more recent expert, but still kind of old. So, I don't know, you could say they're washed up. Maybe they're not, maybe they are. Who knows? Looks like we're going for one dock here from Chrono JJ. Throwing down a house straight away after that. Going to be empowering it with the priest. Is there something I should... Oh, normally I empower it with the, uh, the pharaoh, but I guess this is probably smarter. Chrono JJ knows everything that is good to be known. We do see TSM player also going for that first dock. I was interested to see how he plays this map, given Titans is so different from uh, so different from the from Nilla, which I'm used to, where everybody kind of just rushes. Looks like TSM player we'll, we'll see how many villages he puts on wood is essentially where you get this from. You only need four villages on food in order to have constant village production. So once you start putting villages over to wood and you stop putting villages onto wood, that's where you see, okay, he's going for this or he's going for that. So at the moment, if he stops putting villages on wood, it means he's going for a four minute 10 advance. You build four fishing ships. If he puts more villages on wood, he could be going for a 430, could be doing a five minute, could be doing a fast heroic. So many different options. Fast two sound centers, also a thing that people do. You can see a little bit of having the force, force food drop there because he didn't grab the, the villages straight away, but works kind of fine. Looks like his cast off scale. He's picking up a bunch of those. Go, we can jump back over to Chrono JJ's perspective and see what's going on. We'll see what TSM player does sooner or later. Looks like four villages, four villages, and then gold. Or is he going for a fifth village on wood? Chrono JJ going for the fifth village on wood. I actually kind of think this is a little bit inefficient. Oh no, that's just four, sorry. I thought it was five villages already on wood. Four villages on wood is the perfect amount. It means you can spam fishing ships from one dock and a half. So it's one and a half docks of uh, of wood income, maybe less if you have the priest. I normally have the pharaoh empowering wood with the priest. Maybe only one one dock of income is, is what you get in terms of boat production. So that's what he's doing. Um, he's going to be advancing maybe like 4.30, 4.45. Seems like the gist is about there. Because, well, maybe... No, no, maybe, maybe more like five minutes is probably more correct. TSM player. He's got five villages on wood and then producing more villages. So he's doing a 4.20, 4.30 advanced time. Um, he's still open to many things. Like, can still do fast heroic. can still do a fast second town center. Can do a Athena rush surprise on the land. Has so many different options. It looks like that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, you could even... Centaur strangle doesn't really make sense wouldn't really work, but Yeah, not, not a good idea, but if he does go Hermes It's pretty much a giveaway that he's going for some sort of fast strike. I think is a really good God on this map with restoration because of the restoration glitch which not many people know about in terms of boats It's not a glitch ish. It's kind of a glitch because because boats are interesting units uh, Archer ships are interesting units. I think they're considered buildings as well as military units so if they're moving, they get a slow repair rate from restoration. But if they're standing still, they get that instant repair rate or something like that. I'm not sure if that glitch comes over into Titans or not, or if in, in the Billy Balance patch. It's pretty pretty unknown um, thing there. If you hit Q on your, if you hit restoration and then hit Q, like, which is um, the default key binding for stopping your units, then they'll all. Um, restore incredibly quickly and you'll um, you'll get a lot of good stuff out of that. So we'll see what he's going to go. He is advancing at the 4 minute and 30 mark. He's going through Hermes. So Hermes is a bit of a safe god. It does throw a little bit of confusion into the uh, into the game. Meaning, is he going to go fast heroic? Is he going to fast 2 town center? Fast 3 two town center? So many different options. Looks like Chrono JJ is looking for his advance time. 4.45 was his aim. He's a little bit late on that. But Manages to get there. He's talking a bunch of villages on to gold, so he's going for that fast tech in town center, which he did. Oh, is he? Oh no, it looks like he's not. If you're only, oh no, he's empowering with his very low. Normally, normally, uh, seven villages is the normal amount you chuck onto gold, which means when you when you're when you're um fighting for water, you chuck that many villages on gold, fight for water, you took fine. He's spamming docks. 
and only has that many villages on, on gold. Also, they're in a bit of a, I want them to be fixed. They're not being efficient, which is really, really frustrating for me, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, if you if you only got this many villages on gold, normally maybe second town center is not happening. And we see the TSM players scagging that out really, really early. He sees only seven villages on gold. So he's gonna notice, well, maybe not a fast second town center, which means what's he gonna do to react to that? Because if he starts producing trireme straight away, he is producing trireme straight away, so no fast second town center. He does have hand axe, and he's got that perfect uh, perfect spread of villages. I mean, you can just spam villages to wood, produce docks. You chop up a third dock in about six minutes, 37 minutes, and then you go into three three dock spam, which is huge. And we can see that he's still scouting around, seeing what happens here. If you see Tar was got a choice for Proto JJ, so he could do some sort of shifting sand shenanigans, but uh, probably not. Is he producing boats? He's not pro oh, he's producing one cabinet. Well, there are two cabinets. Two cabinets are coming out right now. So he's going to be attempting to defend against the uh, triarine pressure of TSM players. So he's like, okay, that's what's going on. He's going to retreat and be okay with spamming units, I think. Unless this is a bluff. A little bit of a bluff. He's grabbing out per scene straight away because he realizes this is going to be a bit of a long fight on the on the uh, water. He's got 11 fishing ships. You see that the uh, the centaur is doing a little bit of harass, but he's not going to be able to do too much, especially with the pharaoh out. And the priest is going to be able to pick that off really, really quickly, actually. Um, maybe even the tower will kill it on the way out. One more shot, and does manage to pick that centaur off, so TSM's player does not get much done with that centaur at all. The Wadget, on the other hand, by uh, Chrono JJ, is going to be doing absolute work with that scouting. Can't stop that. That's one, that's one juicy scout right there. Um, the, the, the battle here on the water is a little bit unfair for the Egyptians in terms of the, the 1v1. Triremes have more range than the than the cabinets, however. Egyptians have always been generally considered the superior water god because of their ability to spam docks. So having that, that little bit of uneven stat distribution there is why that happens, because just to like balance this out a little bit, a little bit more. I see Chrono JJ needs to look after his fishing ships a little more. Losing those for free is never a good idea. At least you want to put a little bit of damage onto the enemy, um, enemy archer ships. But I think what's going to happen here, I think Chrono JJ is going to keep feigning this, get his Shadoof out, grab that second town center, which it looks like he's scouting for with his... Does he know? He does know. So he's going over, he's going to be grabbing this one. Player's going to scout that out. He's got his scout on it right now. So Chrono JJ is going to see that he's been scouted. He knows what's going on. Uh, it looks like TSM player is going to make that move straight away and try and pick these guys off. Try to punish, punish Chrono JJ as much as he possibly can. Or himself going to grab that second town center and stop producing triremes, which is what I do. He has canceled triremes, so he's going to go for that second town center as well. Send these guys over here, grab this. He's got that Jason to chase the Wadget down. So the Wadget's going to die on the way back to his base. Chrono JJ is going to get the town center up. He's grabbing Shadoof, needs to chuck more villages on gold in order to take full advantage of that. He does not have Plough just yet. So he's pretty okay with just losing the water, giving up on the water at this point. Chuck some, chuck some fishing ships into the uh, into the old dock and do what you can do there. Looks like TSM players completely strangling Crow JJ on the water right now. Having that early second town center though means he's going to be able to produce some villages a little bit quicker than TSM player, but TSM player is going to be able to catch right back up producing a bunch of fishing ships right now. It's also got the purse seen out already, so he's going to get that extra food income otherwise. Should chuck this Jason here. I sit right on this town center right now. You want to be scanning that out and make sure that Chrono J's is not sneaking out that fast three town centers, which often RAR players do do when this in this sort of situation when everything's been scattered and knows what's going on. The player's going to grab the second town center. He's going to have so much food. Maybe even jump straight to that mythic age. It's generally a great idea. Oh, no, it looks like he's going for that fast three town center. Knows that Chrono JJ can't scout that out because he doesn't have his wadget anymore. His wadget has been spotted by the Jason. A little bit unlucky, but that's happened. So he's going to grab that fast third town center. And then boom, like a... Mm, I can't swear out there so he demonetized me. But you know what I was going to say. Alrighty, so <laughs> looks like the town center... Is up, town center is up, coming up. So 
tier 7 player sitting in a great spot. Knows he does not have to build any military mm -hmm. units right now. I do see that Jason is sitting on this location right now. So he can delay this as much as he wants. Chrono JJ, how is he going to react to this? He's setting over a priest. He might want to set up... I guess he could just like get his villagers to surround this Jason. However, if he just moves his, his Triarim over to this location, then he can probably fight the Jason. Oh, Jason and the Triarim can probably fight the, uh, the villagers. Looks like the town center is going to attempt to go up. We do see that there are a bunch of triremes right now in order to slow this town center down. So PSM player is grabbing his third town center. It's going up for free. Chrono JJ is going to have to empower this and maybe even have a little bit of a fight over here. Looks like spotting that straight away. This is really good. You want to grab this Jason and surround him as best as you possibly can and then attempt to build this on up as fast as possible. It's really difficult to get this up without any other units, especially with all of these triremes right here. This is one of those advantages to winning water. And because Chrono JJ could keep building these, he could keep building these, and then, uh, and then fight this and then secure this town center. But that's going to put him behind in the economy. TSM player is so far ahead right now. He's playing this map so well. Um, Scotty could probably take a, a lesson from this. Because <laughs> this is the exact same matchup that Corona JJ played against him. And it looks like that town center is going to stay down. And TSM player now is going to start sending Odysseus. And start sending Hippicon in. And Corona JJ still hasn't even got a barracks up. He needs that barracks up. Or he needs to start producing farms and go straight to the Mythic Age or some sort of semi-fast Mythic Age. It looks like the uh, the fighting is going on over here. It looks like Corona JJ is just trying to distract a little bit with these cabinets, preventing this action from going on. But this town center is not going up. There's no way this is going up. There's too many units coming in right now. We do see a little shifting sands. Not the best shift. These units are kind of fine sitting here. He's going to send all of his villagers over. That's probably the right move right there. He sends them all over, get this town center up, and just be okay with it before the, the flood of TSM players units come in. Only having the three stables, a little bit interesting. He's got such a strong economy right now. He can support so many more um, military buildings than just the three. He's not producing any more of these triremes anymore. He's just got these guys on patrol, it looks like. That's pretty cute. Patrol is a pretty, pretty strong um, tactic or like tech. I don't know what you call it. Just, just thing. He's going to get this town center up really quickly now with all these villages. He's got two priests as well. So no worries there. Town center going up and it looks like TSM player is going to have to retreat and think about doing something else right now. Um, he can set all these villages over this gold mine and then start thinking about the, uh, the farms. He's got so much gold as well. Chuck some barracks down. Get some farms happening. Take all these villages off gold. You don't need it. He's also got houses. Needs to build houses, this is interesting. Chucking up the chucking up the walls right now and chucking up watchtowers because he wants to defense this location as best as he possibly can in order to stay in the game. At this point, uh, Corona JJ's economy is so far behind that he kind of has two options. Uh, one, he needs to wait until the late game, somehow survive until the late game by uh, producing watchtowers and such, which puts him further behind in the economy. But if he can survive, get to the late game and then slowly claw back and, and win with superior late game. Or two, get a really, really strong locust, kill off a bunch of TSM players, villages, and then catch up to economy in that way. So he's, it looks like he's opting for the, the slow route, producing watchtowers, gonna get that Chronolations up. Chronolations has that bonus against Hippicon. And then, and then just potentially just sit back, get that farm boost with uh, with all these should do farms with plow and and husbandry, and then cast rain, grab that heroic age, grab that mythic age. That being said, though, uh, it's very difficult for Ra against against Zeus. Zeus has got the strongest, maybe the strongest late game out of all of the uh, all the gods. At least used to. He's been nerfed quite significantly. So we'll see what goes on there. We do see that the rain is down. He's going to have 28 villages on gold, 21 on food. We do see that the uh, Hippicon coming in again. Not too happy with their uh, with, with this gold mine just staying there. The repair rate's been significantly nerfed, so this doesn't work. This probably would have stayed up uh, in, in the olden days uh, before Patrick 2.0, but the repair rate not that great anymore. The, uh, the, the walls do get picked off. It looks like... TSM player is going to come in here and try and pick up villages as best as he can. We do not see crenellations is up. He's actually eight wood short of it. He does have the, the wood. Um, sorry, he does have the gold to advance though. So he's totally cool. He could just hit the. Doesn't have an armory though, does he? He needs to build that armory up. He's chucking it up over here. So he's gonna. 
Not thinking ahead, I'm fortunate right there. So these are these these cavalry are going to be attempting to pick off all of these units. Yeah. Just send the villagers in and fight. You should get skin of the rhino as well. It's such a strong tech. You can grab a temple as well, so it doesn't slow down. Um, doesn't really slow down anything there. We do see that DSM player throwing away a little bit too many units. There does get the tower up. Going to replace these walls with these villages and maybe even replace the tower. Yep, going to throw that one up. You don't want to put these towers too close together without uh, too much because they stop being able to shoot the other one and protect the other tower. Unfortunately, that's how Chrono JJ is playing this. Going to throw that one up. We do see that DSM players now moving in and picking off all of the uh, fishing ships. We do see that the army is now up for Chrono JJ, so he's going to be clicking Hathor and trying to do some um, shenanigans with that rock and the workers again similar to the situations before gonna pick off this wall but I still think that this isn't achieving too much can potentially pick off a couple of villages but skin of the rhino still not produced unfortunately for Corona JJ Hathor is coming through once Hathor comes through you can grab that uh, what do you call it? You can grab that Migdol stronghold on this location and completely control it and it looks like that's probably what's gonna happen but Looks like TSM player is pretty content with throwing away units right now. He has gone to the Heroic Edge through Apollo. His economy is extremely strong right now. Going to be throwing up that market straight away and potentially going straight to the Mythic Age. Generally, what you want to do as Greek is you have a really strong Classical Age, really weak Heroic Age, and really strong Mythic Age. Generally, you want to skip that Heroic Age by spending a lot of time in the Classical Age and getting your economy sorted there so that when you hit the Heroic Age, you can just skip it, go straight to the Mythic Age, and then it abuse your Mythic Age straight it away. Which it kind of looks like that is the route that TSM player is doing. It's really safe. Uh, there's not a lot that Chrono JJ can do to stop that. We do see some barracks now going up for Chrono JJ over here. Some walls on this location means that once this gold mine's exposed, uh, expired and this gold mine's expired, no more gold mines on the map to Chrono JJ. So he doesn't have, he's on a timer, he doesn't have that long in order to do that much. We'll see what he does choose to do over here. He has got that skin of the rhino tech coming out right now. So this rocks out. I'm going to pick this Pastuce Joss up straight away and start moving away. It looks like Barrack's going up. He's chucking up a market anywhere. No markets up yet. So he's going to be trying to stay in that, that heroic age for as long as possible. Instead of going straight to the mythic age. Going to the mythic age is kind of an option now for uh, Ra against Zeus because Bolt doesn't outright kill Son of Cyrus and only does like 100 damage or something which I, in my opinion is a great great change I do see Chronolations is up right now however nope still no armor upgrades for TSM players so all of these uh, Hippocon get picked off super fast TSM player is going now through Hef Hephaestus I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Someone corrected me on the uh, old YouTube comments. I can't remember what he said, but we'll just go with her face this. Um, and we do see that now we're going to see some juggernauts coming out in order to clear off these docks. Also, with Mythic Age, getting that upgrade to for the for the juggernauts means that you can then siege this town center. And he's going to be able to kill that one off. We do see a bolt cast onto the Pursuit Joss. Instead of the rock, you can't bolt a rock either, I believe, because that was deemed a little bit too strong to bolt. And we do see that the uh, Locust has been cast right there. It does manage to pick off four villages, which is actually pretty significant considering Locust has been slightly nerfed. But in the olden days, that Locust might have killed off every single one of those villages. So pretty big win for TSM player, not losing every single one of his villages, only a couple. Does the Donkey Caravan take damage? Looks like the Donkey Caravan doesn't take that damage from uh, from the from the Locust. Looks like he's just chilling right now. He's going to grab that Plenty Bolt, chuck it down somewhere. He's got three villages on on the uh, Golden to grab the um, Forge of the Olympus, which gives him cheaper armory upgrades. That was nerfed in Blue Blue Patch 2.0, but has been uh, slightly buffed in this patch. It, it's not as strong as it used to be, but it does do quite a bit. Do you see a Royal Elephant now trying to pick off this Stonewall? We do see the Stonewall. Very rare uh, upgrade to, to see. It does make the walls incredibly strong, as opposed to wooden walls, which get killed really quickly. So, looks like that's going to be attempted to repair. As you can see, it's still the repair rate is so slow that this Royal Elephant is still going to take that down eventually. And we do see Ocherry Arch going to come over right now and attempt to. Uh, to pick these villages off as this is going on. We do see Fortress going up. We're going to start producing either Heli Heliopolite or Petropolite. I'm still surprised that this siege hasn't happened. Is he got... He hasn't... Oh, he's grabbing, he's grabbing it. What's it called? Naval Oxy Oxybolas. Oxybolas? Who knows? It's called Oxy Juggernauts now. They do so much damage. They've got such a siege buff with that, with that upgrade. What is it? Check it out. He does have... 200% siege ship damage versus buildings. So they do, they do a bunch of damage now. Um, 
So it's kind of just like TSM players just strangling Chrono JJ right now. He knows he's kind of, he's not really on a timer because his late game is so strong, but he is kind of on a timer in time, terms of letting Chrono JJ back into this game. The longer the game goes, the, the less these little economic advantages matter. But sitting, especially because you, you hit a point where you get your champion upgrades and then eventually your opponent can afford champion upgrades. Once you can afford those, you can come back in the game. We do see that the Oxy Juggernaut's now trying to pick off the, the, the town center. Rami Galleries. Rami Galleries coming out now for Chrono JJ are going to be countering off these Oxy Juggernauts. But they're not trying rooms here in order to stop that, so Chrono JJ is going to have to produce quite a bit. Villagers not fast enough to repair this by themselves. We do see Osiris is coming out now for Chrono JJ, so Chrono JJ is going to have that Osiris in order to deal with the Colossi, as well as the Mummy is going to come over and start picking off some of the big units. We see that more docks are getting thrown up, and this Colossi is going to be retreating, uh, and the Son of Osiris is just going to chill for a little bit over here. I don't think he needs to do too much. Mummy just going to come over here and do what he can. Do see Drop Light has been produced now for TSM player. Might want to consider walling this so that um, Mercer and Cavalry can't just come in and pick this off. We do see that Mason's and um, Mudbrick has been produced. Bringing these ramming galleys in to pick off the... Uh, Pick off, to be off the tri is isn't exactly what you want to be doing. You want to be trying to, I guess you pick them off and then you can pick off the uh, Ram Galaxy Lady, but it's probably not going to work too well. We do see that the Watchtower is getting picked off by the Petropoli as these Ram Galaxy, as these Juggernauts being off the Town Center. Fortified Town Center has come through now. Chrono JJ is sitting at quite a high resource count. I always find this interesting with Chrono uh, JJ. He seems to always have like a ridiculous amount of resources um, and just doesn't spend them. It's not good. You don't want to be like that. You spend those resources as fast as you possibly can in order to get more resources or stronger units. This Sportified Town Center is going to be falling down now to the sheer might of these Ram Galleys and the two Petropoli are going to come in as well. You want to pick this up, you see a bunch of Ram Galleys coming, sorry, yes, heavy Ram Galleys coming in now to pick off this heavy uh, heavy Trireams and the Oxy Juggernauts and now the units of TSM player are going to come in to be able to even uh, just underworld passage over there and see what he can do right there. We do see the Copper Mail has started, it's come out right now, we do see that Heavy Infantry, Heavy Archers coming in for TSM player right now. All of these, you might want to consider even a third army, this is, this is kind of what you want to do, you want to grab those three armories in order to um, do as much as you possibly can. He hasn't grabbed any farming upgrades because he doesn't have that many farms, but now he's going to have to try and defend against this Chrono JJ repush on the water. Uh, but Chrono JJ should be 100% focusing on this town center. Falling down four town centers to two town centers, very, very difficult for him to come back, even with all of the, the really strong units you've got in the Sun of Cyrus and all of that other shenanigans. We do see that the Chef Chariot Archer is going to be moving forward and attempting to do some stuff. They do spot the uh, fortress and decide, nope, can't do anything just there. Village really is picking off Stonewall right now, maybe trying to secure this gold mine. Doing what he possibly can. Do you see that TSM player has now moved into the uh, into the what do you call it trade route off front of JJ? He can just sit here on passive stance. You don't even have to monitor it. Like uh, often, what happens if you just leave them there on normal normal stance? Then they'll they, they'll chase the chase the uh, camel caravans away. See like this instead of standing there and just killing the you guys that come through. If you set them on passive stance, they just stand there, shoot everyone until they're out of range, and then move on to the next target until they're out of range. We see a heavy camel uh, a heavy cavalry coming in now in order to defend against this. But play might move forward as well. We do see a couple of villages building this town center up. That's his no matter what. If he chooses to cast that ceasefire, he'll grab that one for free. We do see some catapult coming out now for Chrono JJ. Maybe he's starting to get that rock raid happening. They do have a population cost of four in the blue Palace batch three point. O instead of 3 in the original patch, just because they're such strong units. Uh, I think it was to nerf Rock rating a little bit, uh, Rock Town Center rating a little bit. Just see the sound of the Cyrus is taking a little bit of heat from the units of TSM player, but he's okay with that in order to defend against this location. We see a village coming in now, going to be picking off these drop like pretty quickly. They do have a bonus against Siege. Oh no, he's going to be building a wall instead. Not what I would do. We see that fortified town center going up for TSM player now sitting four town centers to two, sitting at 168 population of 180 to Chrono JJ's 140 population. So Chrono JJ is still able to support his population, but sitting at only 140 population is not enough to survive in this. In 
this game. Um, we do see that uh, TSM players now are trying to pick up all of these docks. He's, he's okay with losing units at this point because he's got such strong economy. We do see Bellerophon coming in now, going to be picking up catapults, black and then nothing. With that special ability, he can just kind of jump anywhere and just pick them off. If you wall them around, you do nothing. So we see Heliop Black coming in now with those with that Colossi, or just Colossus? Probably Colossus, it's only one. So Colossus coming in as well, going to be picking off the. Uh, the Migdal Stronghold, picking up everything else, Bellor, I might want to consider just focusing down on this guy. Um, but he's going to do what he can. Oh, I'm going to pick up the docks now in order to completely secure this location. We do see a couple of Oxy War Barges now coming in. Then we pick up this fortified Town Center, but there's too many Navy units for TSM players. He's going to be able to pick up these guys super quickly. They've also got that that Burning Pitch upgrade. Maybe even Focus Fire in the Song of Cyrus with this Heavy Train will do so much damage, but instead going to be focusing on to this instead. Oh, now he's going to be doing that. He wants to pick up this Song of Cyrus as fast as he possibly can. He does see how much damage he took. It's about like two seconds that he was taking damage. 250 HP down like that. This Ford Five Towns are probably going to stay up if he does focus. He does have Masons, might want to consider getting Architects. Still sending units into this location. Going to be sending those Champion Mermen on to pick off the uh, the market right there. They do have a bonus versus Siege. It's huge. Going to pick off that market, stop the gold income of Chrono JJ, and all of these units are going to fall for now, right now. A bunch of heavy Raven Galleries coming out right now. Going to pick up all of those Oxy Juggernauts. Oxy War Barge is still trying to pick off this location right now. Ford Five Towns are might fall. Oh, there's so many villages repairing this. TSM player's economy is huge right now. He probably doesn't need this many villages, but having the repairs are really, really good. And we do see that the ramming the war barge with no army upgrades. It's such a strong unit. Gonna get picked off though. Is he gonna get picked off before this town center goes down? Oh, looks like TSM players ran out of resources, so that town center is going down. Corona JJ now. Fighting back a little bit with the two town centers versus three town centers. It looks like a little bit of fight going on over here. Picking off these units onto the gold mine. It's the last gold mine that uh, Chrono JJ has. And he, Chrono JJ is sitting at no gold as well. All of these camel caravans have been picked off market. Is up again for Chrono JJ, but it does get picked off again. Looks like the Son of Osiris is now getting killed off by all the Myrmidon. Looks like the Son of Osiris does go down. No gold for Chrono JJ. TSM player way too strong right here. Picking off all of these villages as well. He's going to move in and then start picking off buildings like that. Nothing. Remember on cut through buildings like that. Paypal, we do see village now trying to pick off this this uh, fortress right now. If you can pick this off, maybe you can secure this gold mine and get a little bit more economy going. The can't even trade resources right now. He's, he's got no market. He's got 2,000 wood in the bank. Can trade that for gold in order to produce, produce some more units. But having no gold means he's going to have nothing. Looks like... Uh, Share some players mining from this gold mine as well, just to throw insult into injury, and going to be taking this game. It looks like not much that Chrono JJ can do. He's lost all his villages. He's lost his raid route. He's lost his mind. He's got all of these camel caravans. Just sending those in for the slaughter for these Myrmidon to be doing all the damage that they can do. This fortress gonna gonna die. Maybe maybe die. The repair rates. Pretty good. We see a bunch more villages moving in over here. One last ditch effort for Chrono JJ. Managed to pick off that fortress and says, I'm going to take that win. Tap out a GG. Really well played there by a TSM player. He kind of played it. I wouldn't say he played it perfectly in terms of he probably could have won the game earlier because he was so far ahead. But he played it correctly and safely. Going for the fast mythic route. Uh, instead of playing risky and trying to kill off Chrono JJ super fast, game went on for a bit longer than normal, uh, but it was just super well played there by TSM player Chrono JJ held on. I reckon I reckon the the big win there for TSM player was delaying that third town center for so long with uh, the triremes and Chrono JJ got a little bit unlucky with that map spawn there. Um, both the town centers were unlucky though, so if he decided to go ham on the water, I probably could have controlled that a little bit. Anyways, some unfortunate news, there is no game 2 of this series, the game was corrupted due to a dropout and a save, it's nothing I can do, there was a stream of it somewhere, I don't know where it is, um, but uh, I think TSM player won this one 2-0, if you want to find that out, go over to RTS Sanctuary and check it out. Uh, my name is Boyd. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see them out. If you want to see the videos as soon as they come out, um, I'll see you guys next time.